want to be a biologist, there are very few things that you can work with that are as diverse as insects. I'm the civilian public health consult entomologist, and my mission is to provide public health at bases or civil engineers at bases the information they need to either protect themselves from vector-borne diseases, make decisions on whether they're collecting mosquitoes that are going to be transmitting a, a virus, say West Nile, malaria, because my mission does extend outside the United States, so I could be helping a base somewhere um, in Afghanistan that, that has mosquitoes coming in. We get mosquitoes sent in, they come in in sealed dishes, pop them open right down there, source location, so which base, where on the base, what date, who collected it. Sort the mosquitoes out, so that's where the microscope get used. Sorts them out into whether they're vectors of malaria, West Nile, whatever we're looking for. When there's actual virus present, that changes the whole story. Actually here at USAFSM, we wrote Air Force-wide West Nile fact sheets so that our public health offices can have access and say, hey, this is how you do it while you're on active duty, wearing your uniform. If you're working outside, you're wearing DEET and hopefully a permethrin treated uniform. And so we can give that, remind bases of that, say, hey, you have West Nile positive mosquitoes. You should know that this is what your people need to know when they're out there doing the field work. You know, if they're working on a flight line, they should be aware that they're at risk. And this are, these are ways to reduce their risk. A lot of our missions are not thousands of boots on the ground. They're small forces on the ground. Some of those can't suffer a 25% loss. If there's only four guys on your special ops mission and one of them gets malaria or dengue or leishmaniasis and you have to evac them out, you can have a total mission failure. So entomology, I mean, our mission in part is to protect Air Force interests, reduce or eliminate those threats. I wanted to have a job where I had a positive effect on people. And in entomology where you're, you're protecting human lives and health, it's really hard to find a job where one person can have a really big impact like that and say, hey, you have a threat to this many thousands of people on a base, or in some cases, you have a threat to your entire country. If we can tackle that, remediate the threat, reduce it from your number two or number one threat to human health to near the bottom, then you know one entomologist can have a huge positive effect on people's lives.